Well, my I do do need to comb my shit. I just got out the shower not too long ago. By not too long ago, I mean an hour ago. Or two. I don't keep track of time anymore. But what I've realized is that you can do a lot of weird shit with economics and make it interesting and sort of this modernity with it. I didn't realize this. This is old shit, but in terms of just apparel or clothing or accessories, this is really easy to do. And one thing that always bothered me since 2011 is the dichotomy between perfect competition and monopolistic competition. Monopolistic meaning, no, it's not monopolies, where one guy is the only one who's producing and selling something. No, I mean just, they're all trying to get ahead and get an edge by producing a different kind of the same thing. For example, sneakers. A lot of sneakerheads out there. How many gimmicks have we seen so far? Like in the 90s with the pumps, those were a big deal. I remember people getting fucked up for those pumps, actually. What was the gimmick? I think it was Reeboks or something like that. The gimmick was that on the tongue of the shoe, like, you had the, like, pump thing, and you pushed it, and it's supposed to make your jump higher. We all know that's bullshit. <laughs> There's no denying that. <laughs> but, shit. People were buying into that. And it's not like this is the end of that. There's still plenty of gimmicks. I mean, you can go to a sneakerhead page and they'll say, well, when I play basketball, these, if I shimmy to the side, then it's really easy, but if I try to run forward or straight, it glitches out. It glitches out, are you... Are you wearing sneakers or an operating system? That really creeps me out. <laughs> so you can shimmy, which would probably be good for defense, but you can't run forward as fluidly. There's like some type of issue. And there's all these, all these gimmicks for these different lines of sneakers. Uh, they're present in the Nike Airline and Adidas and all of this stuff, but it's pretty goofy. And of course, you also have this with jeans. I remember Levi was suing either Abercrombie and Fitch or some other retail store that sells jeans to the letter A. There was like two other Arrow and American Eagle. But that was because of the stitching pattern of the jeans. They were extremely similar. And I'm thinking there is some concern for monopolistic competition at the same time, I still hold on to the position I had in 2011 where monopolistic competition may be a good thing. I mean, I don't want each company to just sell the same exact thing but with different price points. There's going to be some degree of differentiation. They're not equal. There should be. Monopolistic competition. If I were to, let's say, go to uh, let me branch out of clothing for a second. If I were to go down to one fast food joint, they were selling the same exact 
burger as the next one. Well, besides diabetes, not diabetes, diabetes, I am concerned about other things like what if I don't like the burger? What if I get bored of it? What if I want some variety? But then that's why my opinion is starting to change. Because if people start selling the same exact shit, if perfect competition comes into fruition, then you can't have something that's a little fast. You can institute something like that where it's going to force people to go a DIY direction, do it yourself way. Stop relying on other people's resources, a marketeering form of laziness, and they'll start doing stuff from scratch. If everyone starts selling you the same exact burger, you're going to start making your own fucking sandwiches, and they're going to be really good. I know, because the right had a homemade shit, it's much tastier. The meat taste saltier, juicier, fattier, it works really well with the condiments, there is something to be said about that, and I think Grog has mentioned it in a couple of our Skype calls, but yeah, that is significantly important to take into account, if everyone starts making the same kind of pattern for jeans, or they'll operate with the same kind of sneaker, the generic white Air Max, or just the white Nikes, the pumped-up kits, basically. People are going to start being more attentive to, like, maybe home-stitching their shit. I'm going to make my own sneakers now, just with material I find from everywhere else. Or if I can make my own material, I'm gonna kill a cow. <laughs> That's stupid. I apologize. But, <laughs> damn. That would have some advantages to it. At the same time, I'm still thinking since 100% perfect competition isn't a ever going to happen. There's always going to be some form of fluctuation. And if it does happen, then it's not always necessary. I like a little monopolistic competition. I like a little variety. I like being able to draw dichotomies and basically think in a very structuralistic way, which is easier to do when there are apples and apples, but one apple is a Granny Smith and the other is a sour apple. Stuff like that is easy. Stuff like that is fun for me. I like making comparisons or contrasting similar things. A little contrasts here and there. Regardless, this is Mr. Wonka 7. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope I didn't creep you out when I did that fucking shit with my fucking leg, whatever. And suck my dick. <laughs>